Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about the bags I've sold and why. In this video, I'm going to be talking about just five bags. I have a very small collection of bags, so the number of bags I've actually sold is actually still very small as compared to others. So there's only five bags that I'm going to be talking about in this video. And the first one that I've sold is the Gucci Marmot. So I'll just put up a picture here. So this was the black. Gucci Marmot. It was in the size medium in black calfskin leather and in the brushed gold hardware. So this bag I actually really really loved when I first got it. Like I still have my unboxing in this channel. I'll link it down below for reference but yeah up until I sold it I really loved the bag. I also did a review on the bag which I will link down below and that was such an amazing bag. It's just that I finally decided to sell it because one, I was able to purchase a Chanel reissue in the black with gold hardware which was very similar to my Gucci Marmot and the Chanel reissue was actually a holy grail for me. So when I had the opportunity to buy that, I decided that I had to let go of the Marmot because it just looked too similar to the reissue. And having two bags with like the same aesthetic and the same purpose was too redundant and excessive for me. I had the Gucci Marmot I think for like two years, maybe two years, but it was a really, really well-loved bag. And I think if I didn't get the reissue, I would have actually kept it because it's such a an all-around bag. Also, I kind of like sticking to the classics when it comes to bags. So eventually, like the Gucci Marmot was such a trendy bag that eventually like towards the end of like my second year of having it, I realized that this is something that has a small staying power and compared to the reissue, I knew that the reissue was gonna be more of a classic. So I just realized that I really had to let that one go despite it being such a great and awesome bag. However, I loved it so much that I did say that in the future, if it would come out in a silver or a ruthenium hardware, I would probably go out and get it because the functionality of that bag is really just amazing. As of now, there is a silver hardware but it's not in the color that I want which is black. So we'll have to wait and see if ever in the future they decide to release it. The second bag that I sold is the Chanel Mini Wallet Unchained. So this was in the beige Claire lambskin leather and I also did a review on this bag and it's just it's just not for me. It's not for my lifestyle. I had that bag for maybe about just a year. Yeah, because it's so small. That bag is so tiny. Like, I can barely fit stuff inside. It was hard closing the bag. It just really didn't fit in my lifestyle. I used it only as a formal event bag. So I used it, I think, for one wedding. <laughs> and I used it on one trip. But yeah, it wasn't a really good bag, even for traveling. So I decided to let it go. Also, it was in the beige Claire color and in lambskin and it was such a light color and I realized that if I were to keep this any longer this leather would darken eventually and yeah I'm not very good at maintaining light colored bags so yeah I just realized that type of bag wasn't going to suit my lifestyle so I had to let that one go. Next is the Prada work tote. I don't think it has a name and you know how Prada doesn't actually really have names for their bags. It's just like code, so I'll just insert the code. Again, whatever the name was. This specific bag I bought just for work. I also mentioned it, I think, in my bag collection video before that I like that bag simply because it was really understated and no one knew what it was. But eventually, like, I saw how it aged. That bag was in this gray color. I forgot what, what the exact color was, but it was in this gray glaze calfskin leather so it was a bit shiny and yeah it was for work and when I moved jobs I don't know I felt like I needed a different bag so I stopped carrying that bag and eventually just like stopped carrying it overall so one I realized that the leather wasn't good it wasn't aging very well the way it slouched I actually don't have pictures wearing this bag because as I said I only used it for work but yeah it was starting to slouch in a way that I felt like if I sold it any later it's not gonna hold up any value whatsoever because it's gonna just be like melting it's gonna be like a melted bag and i know like for some bags it's nice to have that slouchy effect but for this bag which was kind of like a structured bag 
originally. Looking slouchy for this bag didn't look nice at all. So that's why I had to sell that one. Although I use that quite a lot. It's just that I realized that I would be better off with another bag. Or maybe I just got tired of it and just wanted another bag. I actually replaced it with the next bag that I'm going to be talking about. And it is the Celine Trapeze bag. So this is my fourth bag that I've sold. And this bag actually didn't last very long with me maybe like half a year this was just last year i only have like one picture i think with it because i sold it right away i was in the medium size and it was in the color dune with silver or ruthenium hardware i got it pre-loved last year i think early last year so it was really nice i liked it and i used it for work for a while until it got wet so this is the story i was on overtime at work one night and it was raining really hard it was one of those big storms in manila at that time and i was the only one left at work and my condo is just like a five minute walk from my office so i usually just walk to work at first I was going to wait out the rain because it was pouring really hard and like people were texting don't go home yet don't go home yet because the rain was really bad and so I tried waiting it out I was the only one left in the office at that time so I tried waiting it out until eventually it was getting really late and like I was already on overtime plus I had to wait for the rain to like stop a little bit but it didn't stop and I think it was around 12 midnight already at that time and I was just like I'm tired, I need rest, like I overtime for quite a while, and then like for me to even wait out this rain, like it's been raining the entire time and I don't think it's gonna stop like for a while. So I was like, you know what, I just wanna go home, I'm so tired from overtime, so I'll just walk home in the rain. And I didn't think of my bag. I thought life would be okay. I thought like I could walk in the rain with my teeny tiny umbrella and like my bag would just like not soak up any water at all. Like I don't know what I was thinking or maybe it was just I was just too tired to even bother thinking about my bag anymore. But yeah, so I walked out, walked in the rain. I think I was wearing boots that time. So clothes wise I was okay or shoes wise I was okay. But by the time I got home, like the wings of the trapeze, and mind you, this trapeze bag was like half leather and half suede. So the wings were suede and everything else was leather. So right, I was carrying it like here. It was on, it was on my shoulder. And so this area, I could cover. My umbrella was here and it seemed fine. Like I thought it wouldn't really matter because... I had this part, entire front part covered. I thought my bag was dry, so walking, 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 and there, it got like wet a bit. And I thought that I could just say like, wipe it off until I got to the condo. When I got to the condo, I put the bag down, and on the other wing of the bag, like it is soaked, like bottom to top. I don't know if I have a picture. I probably don't have a picture anymore. Bottom to top of the wing was soaked, and this is in suede. It was in the dune color, so. Obviously, like you can imagine how dark the suede looked like compared to the overall bag. And you can see, you can see that this color is definitely not the same as the other one. So I was just like, oh my god, how am I ever going to resell this looking like this? So I was just like panicking everywhere. I had to Google like how to remove that water stain. I was actually able to remove it, most of it, because it was like an entire, basically the entire wing. I Googled, I think that you just have to rub it with like a sponge so I think that's what I did and I just waited it out and prayed that it would go away and eventually it did it left like a very very slight mark it wasn't that obvious anymore it wasn't obvious that it got rained on however the suede wasn't as smooth as the other wing anymore I mean it could still pass as good condition really good condition but knowing the fact that it already got rained on and like the texture wasn't as perfect as the original suede and I don't know I was just being OC I guess and I could really notice it maybe from the naked eye you couldn't notice it but to me I could notice it 
So eventually, like, I was just like, I have to get rid of this ASAP because no one's gonna buy a bag that's been soaked in water. So after that incident, I realized I really had to make a decision to sell this bag because if not, I really wouldn't be able to get any more money out of it. So yeah, I just sold it. It was a really nice bag though, but yeah, it had to go. Okay, now for the fifth and final bag that I've sold. It's the Chanel Mini Rectangular Flap in black lambskin leather with silver hardware and the four grommets. So this one was a pretty nice bag. I really liked it also at that time. It was a rare bag because it came with the four grommets. The minis nowadays only have two grommets but this one had four. So you can actually like use it as a shoulder bag, like the regular medium flaps. So I really like that about that bag. However, I got that pre-owned and the last that was in production was like a really long time ago. So the leather was actually very soft as well. And I found myself being very protective of the bag, being very sensitive about wearing the bag. And when I wear bags, I don't really like having to worry so much about it. I feel like it's so cumbersome to have like a bag that you have to take care of. Having that bag was kind of like, at first it was nice, it was fun wearing the bag, but then the lambskin was so soft that every time I would wear it, I feel like it would deteriorate like just a little little bit. So I decided to sell that one because at that time, I was just at work all the time. I, w I didn't have time for parties anymore. Like, I used to party a lot and I thought that I would be able to use the mini flap for lots of parties. But I didn't really. Just a few. Although I was able to use it for parties. And again, I feel like a lot of my bags, this is one of the reasons why I end up selling it. Because I don't like the way it ages. Or I don't like the way it starts to look when it gets old. And I feel like the better condition the bag is, the more money you'll be able to get out of it when you sell it. So I try to sell it as soon as possible when I start seeing the bag aging badly. That was one of the bags that when I got it, it was nice. And then I realized that this bag isn't going to age well. So might as well sell it while it still has a high value as compared to selling it later down the line when it looks uglier and more beat up and I'll only be able to get like a fraction of what I paid for. So yeah, that's the reason why I sold the mini flap. And it's perfect because I sold that bag I think last year or last last year, I'm not sure. But it's perfect because the mini bag trend kind of died down a bit already this year. So I feel like I sold it at the perfect time last year or last last year when people still love the mini bag however i really still like the mini flap it's just that maybe i will get it in the future in the still the rectangular or maybe the square mini in caviar leather and still with silver hardware i think i prefer to get the mini flap in a caviar because the lambskin is just really too sensitive for me so those were my five bags which I've sold and the reasons why. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram at ChurchDLF. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!